YouTube, YouTube, what is up guys? Welcome back to Sam Boys Customs. Guys, I had the honor today to go meet uh, a new gentleman which owns Tampa Vintage Motorcycles. I met this guy on Instagram and this man has over 250 beautiful vintage motorcycles, mopeds, enduros. God, just what a great dude, man. Um. If some of these, a lot of these bikes are for sale that he has. Um, if you see a bike in here you like, just get with me in the comments or get with me on Instagram or get with Tampa Vintage Motorcycles on Instagram as well. Or get with me on Facebook and I'll get you in contact with him. I'm not just going to put his phone number in on YouTube, of course. But guys, I hope you enjoy the video. He let me ride all these cool mopeds and all these old cool two-stroke motorcycles. I mean, it was just an awesome time. Big shout out Tampa Benches Motorcycles, guys. I'll hopefully be doing a lot of stuff with this guy in the future. Maybe a little sponsorship, something like that. Um, we'll see what happens. Guys, as always, like, comment, subscribe. We go live every Monday night at 6 p.m. and every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Hope to catch y'all there. Peace. Guys, I've hit the mother load. Oh my gosh, you got a real mini trail? Guys, I have hit the mother load. Oh my gosh. Dude, that Suzuki 125 is so clean. Dude, I like this one the best. Dude, so many cool bikes in yeah. one place, man. <laughs> you just don't know where to look. It's crazy. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, we're, we're just ordering, like I said, we're still moving in. Wow. Um, <laughs> look at this freaking Honda this right here. This here is an option. This is an Italian Intramoto Gloria. And the only, these guys here, when I was doing it, that's what wow. I was doing. Right, right, right. these out. But this has that red tank up there. Now I want to clean the tank out, but it runs. We start everything on IV tank to start. Um, this is the track. Let's see how many more tracks are made. Demlin Motors, 1987, made in Korea. Ironically, my Korea. first job that my buddy had when he got out of the military, and we've been doing this for 40 years, was working on tracks. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I do like that blue and white one over there, that hero. Yeah, we'll pull that out. Yeah, that one looks sharp. Yeah. Dude, these mini Enduros are really cool. You know what? I People love those things. That is too them. cool. That is more my style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make, uh, obviously, I'm using three to make two good ones. Yeah, yeah. Get through here. 
Guys, I can't believe how many beautiful bikes there are in here. Got some beauties, man. Always wanted an old school moped. Hell yeah, man, they're the best, dude. You can ride them fucking anywhere. Yeah, man, because they're street legal. You don't need no license. They can go. Yeah, I think you got Hey, you don't have the title. Just register them. I just think. register them, right? Yeah. No, yeah, no, no, no motorcycle license though required. Nope. <laughs> oh, I agree, man. I've had a million mopeds over the years, man. I love them. They're a blast, dude. Like you said, you just one, so you told the wife, you know, fuck that, get one. There you go. Yeah, man. Wow, that Enduro 100 is so nice. This is my personal one here. <laughs> oh, you got that one all tricked out, man. Look at that thing. Yeah, this is a one speed, has a handmade uh, cranks pipe. My buddy bakes up in Minnesota. Oh, it has okay. a, uh, this, this engine oh, yeah. was built in California by the French guys, Tomahawk Tuning. Look at that big old disc brake. brakes. Huge disc brakes. And he's ever started. This one. Oh yeah, look at that big old fat pipe under there. Yeah, that's oh, a, that's man. a Simonini circuit pipe. Wow. The difference is rather than a belt, uh, rather than a chain drive, this is this a is belt shit. drive. Yeah. It has dual pulleys. So uh, actually this ain't gonna start because I screwed up my broke, broke a pedal, pedal off. On it. That's awesome. So many cool bikes, man. That's a cool kit. This is just a mild kit on this one, but this is a great, great stock bike um other than the engine that's just a stock bike that's made in for we cleaned it up for the lightning but these are probably the two rarest of the bikes in here because those are french pigeons Pe they're, they're, they're peugeot tsms so to compete against the other ones um they made this high pipe they only put a thousand of them in the u.s wow and uh when you get it going the whole engine articulates back and rotates i'll get one started Oh, what? Yeah, it's really crazy, actually. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I like this white one the best, you know. What is about the I love white, I guess, but that white thing is just cool looking. Funny you say that, because I'm making a pook that I'm gonna make powder coated all brightest white I could get, man. Yeah. It's just white and white. White looks good, man. Yeah, it does look good. And um, my race bike is all white. That's why I like it. Well, we going to have to I'll push this. Well, I'll put the house. 
It is cool, man. Dude, they're all and it's just a good ride. That's what I, that's how I've seen it. It's awesome. So these are Cosmo. So Cosmo is a friend of mine. He's 90 years old now. So he imported Benelli's. These are a couple he private labeled, but this is the Cosmo room because you'll see black and gold in his colors. Black and gold, black and gold. Oh, like this was the sign that was on his office door. This was the cup he created for his sponsored rider. So from 79 through Wow. 1999 for 20 years and if you see like a lot of first places stuff whatever his best finisher he sponsored montessa and beta on clouds nice. that's awesome wow. yeah. so these are 50 cc's 65 cc's are cool, man. and that's how that volcano that you saw the one that has the 180 they were making these and the guy says what do you think of them and Larry says, well, they're good. They're 65. He goes, but the Japanese are coming in with these CT-70s, these trail 90s. Why don't you give me something a little more oomph? Yeah. And they took their brand new Enduro 175cc engine and put it in just 200. <laughs> that these are great. Forge River sides. These are 125. That's a two. -fit. I got two more of these on, on the uh, transporter coming down this week. Wow. But these were the first Italian motorcycles imported in the U.S. Perilla that Cosmo brought in in 1958. This one here happens to be a two-stroke. So everybody liked the, the four-stroke red ones. The, uh, the two-stroke, uh, that's my favorite. That's my second favorite bike I want right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really They're cool too cool, things. man. I like these little baby ones. Those things are cool. Yeah, here's my... <coughs> Wow. Another room. Oh, now we're into the into the real collection. Oh, oh man. man. Hey guys. Look guys at hungry? that. We'll get you some food, baby. Oh heck yeah. That <laughs> I just oh, got. That is crazy. cool, man. Dang. So there's, wow, that's we, really nice. We talked about Harley's. That's the um, that's the oh, yeah. CC Leggero. Yeah. But that one only has 600 miles on it. Wow. Everything that's original. Wow. Haven't touched it. Dang, okay, man. These are GSF so Bianchi Beta. So this, this uh, is sort of a desirable moped that never got imported. That was privately brought in. Same with the Motom. But this is a small motorcycle. Um, a little bit crazy because it has a kickstarts on this side, but the, the uh, shifter's also on this side. Oh, wow. That's right got to be trippy shift. to work out. Oh, I take that back. No, that's the brake. Here's the shifter on hand. Manual hand speed shifter. Oh, wow. Free speed. <laughs> that's cool. That's pretty neat. That is different, man. Wow, I've never seen one shifted on that. So the, the oh, one challenging really? thing with that, when you when you shift it and put it in gear, we have a natural tendency to equal our hand, at least I did. So I'd like get it, you start it out, you're like, yeah, then all of a sudden you go back and what the hell, man? <laughs> What's going like, on dude, here? You can't roll your wrist back. Yeah, you're so gripping I start, it. <laughs> I literally go like this now, let my hand off. <laughs> this is my favorite Benelli moped, but this. It's a Dutch bike that has a frame that looks like a Honda S90 to wow. me. It has a German Saks engine, and then the design was done by Sparta, which was a company that did a few years in Holland. This is an original. Pump. That motor is crazy looking, that head. Look at that head on that bike. 
This is an original 1966, unrestored, 100% original. Came with the original cell slip and everything from 1966. Wow. And this is a similar, but that's a Dream 90 Honda from 1966 or 67. And this is the seat got reupholstered. So you got the Italians, the, the Japanese, and the Americans. <laughs> yeah, this thing is wild looking too. This is a Penton that was done by the one of the uh, one of the few guys that was a Penton factory racer and then a KTM factory racer. Oh. The rest of this bike is a 100% new old stock. Wow. <laughs> he gave me. He was going to build that. Oh, this is the other house. one. Yeah, yeah. So the other one was a Jack Piner. This is the 125 six day that preceded it. And this is a completely Zanzani. Everything else on that is new old stock. The same professional yeah, running front end, which was an aftermarket performance thing. Yeah. The the pipe, the, the wow. engine components. Take a look at these carbs, man. They have, I know. They I was looking at that. It's like a look, look at the little velocity stack on it, too. It's good on the end. That is crazy looking. Yeah. It looks small for a bike that big, right? Right. On but this one, he was proud because when they improved it with this frame, Based upon what they're racing, this is what I'm thinking of, and I like the original shit, because it's just cool yeah. with it. And it's comfortable, and you can ride it. If I want to go anywhere on the streets, I want something that's going to just get me moving with traffic. Right, right, right. Uh, the good news is you got a bike, man. You can just go on the bike lane where we are. Yeah. So you can go on the What was the top speed on that blue and white one back there? I think it's probably a 26, uh, you know, somewhere between 25 and 30. 25, 30. Wow, that's cool. Um, probably something a little quicker than that. Man, that thing's got twin carbs on it. Dang! Let's, um, I'll take this one. Gotta get work done anyway. This is my son's bike. Dude, there's just, yeah, there's so many to look at, man. I know. <laughs> when you get them out of the light, they look so much better than in here. Oh, absolutely. Two stroke, baby. And fire right up. No, uh, when, when this thing, it has that big pushy seat, it's a Cadillac. Yeah. It really is. And it goes pretty good. Uh -huh. Plus, we'll warm up a little bit. So it cleans up. I got pictures of it cleaned up. It has a Minarelli V1 engine, which was Minarelli Solar. Back in the 70s, my like, start was actually made by, by Bianchi. Bianchi became Beta. That one that I showed you up there that said Bianchi. Um, he accepted Bianchi Beta. 
So what they were doing is they were all making their own little plane. They were